Tech, and today I'll be showing you my new favorite locker that I'm using right now. I'm at LG, which is the High Locker. Well, starting off, starting off with a quick walkthrough of the overall setup of the app. When you first install it on your phone, you open the application, you will be taken to a screen just like this one with the time and the date and hello blank and you'll enter your name, your nickname, whatever you prefer to be called. And my username that I put in there is a little cut off, but it's in there nonetheless and I'll hit next. And then I can turn on accessibility and this is going to work differently on every phone. But basically I'll go to, on the, this phone I'll go to services, high locker and then turn that on. And then it tells me all the things that HighLocker is going to use my information for. And now I have to turn off my system lock screen so that I'm not hit with two lock screens every time I turn on the phone. And since there's a pin already on the phone, I'll just enter that pin and then I'll be able to move on. And after hitting start now, I am able to set up the rest of my home screen. Now right now I just have the time and the date and my message hi, Soli Tech. And I don't have any notifications, but if I did, I'd be able to swipe to interact with them or there's a key that normally appears here. I'm gonna try to generate a couple of notifications so I can show you exactly how this works. But I'd be able to swipe to clear all notifications or swipe on each individual notification to interact with them. But first I'm gonna take you through the menu system, how to customize your home screen or customize your lock screen a little bit further. So to unlock your phone, once you have this installed, you're gonna hold down on the little white button here, and then you'll have a few different options. The default ones are phone, messaging, unlocked home screen, Chrome, and a camera. You can change these in a second. I'm gonna go unlock, get some updates. This is where you are allowed to turn your lock screen on or off. Turn off your system lock, which is something you want to keep off so you don't have a double lock screen like it says. You can add an additional layer of security by going to security, type, pattern, or pin are your only option. Nothing like face unlock or anything like that. But you can go to smart unlock, which allows you to have the phone eliminate whatever security protocol you have on it under a trusted Wi-Fi network. Although I still would just leave a regular password on there most of the time. Under unlock style, you have two options, classic and lollipop. I'm going to show you lollipop real quickly, but I leave mine on classic most of the time. Here's what the lollipop lock screen style looks like, and here you have just a few options. Phone and camera on each side, and if you swipe up on the left or right side, you'll be taken directly to the phone or camera options. But I prefer the other classic screen where you have more options right from the lock screen. You can change your clock style. You have a few different ones to go through. But I prefer the pretty much standard one. I don't need weather or anything available from the home screen, so I'll just hit apply on this one. I can edit the message that appears as soon as I unlock the phone. I can have an auto message or my own personal message displayed. I just turn off the auto message. And then I can click the message that's already in there, never give up your dreams, and I can put in anything I pretty much want. So now I have my custom message in there. I'm gonna lock my phone and show you what that looks like really quickly. And that's what pretty much any message will look like. And I assume if you have too long of a message to fit on there, it will scroll back and forth to show you the whole thing. And under that same menu, you can change the font of your message and the font style and things like that. I have a couple of default wallpapers. I'd rather just use my own personal wallpapers, but they do have a few pretty standard and nice ones for you to use built into the application. You're allowed to display weather right from home screen. Like I said, that's not my preference, but you can go ahead and do that if you want to. All you have to do is add a location and put in how often you want the weather to update and the format that you want your weather displayed in, Fahrenheit or Celsius. Here's one of the most important features of this lock screen. The shortcuts you're allowed to place right on your home screen. All you have to do here is drag on the slider to assign or hide the shortcuts. Now, if I don't want messaging right from the home screen. I can change that to a different application that's already on the phone. They'll give me a list of everything I have installed and I'm gonna have, go ahead and change mine to Lookout. And then on my lock screen, right after I put in my password or whatever, I'll be able to go straight to Lookout without tapping through my application drawer. And then by dragging the slider over to Lookout again, I can hide the shortcut so that way back on the lock, main lock screen when I slide over to that where that would have been there's just nothing there and then we just have a few more less significant options like 
using the 24 hour format for your clock, changing the language, some contrast options, turning on or off your unlock sound, and having the option to brighten your screen automatically when new notifications come in. I will leave that off just to save battery. Also, one more thing that I forgot to mention are the security settings. One thing you might wanna do is lock your status bar, which prevents anybody else from swiping down and seeing your notifications without getting it all the way into your phone with the password. I would go ahead and check that box just for an extra security, but some people prefer that. If they're really the only ones that are gonna be using their phone for sure, then you can leave that on, but if not, I would just lock your status bar just in case. Thank you all for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it. Leave a like if you did. Comment below what you think of High Locker and if you're going to try it. I'll leave a link in the description. You can download High Locker for free, and I will catch you in the next video. Bye.